pianta comunica con gli insetti. Comunica se deve arrivare un insetto rispetto all'altro, se il patogeno va a chiamare quello che si mangia il patogeno. Cioè, e tutto questo è una comunicazione che si blocca con la sostanza chimica. O lavori con gli organismi, micro, macro organismi, o lavori contro. A healthy body and a healthy gut system means a healthy immune system and all of it is based on a few kilos of the beneficial microorganisms that we have got in our guts. In agriculture it's just the same. In conventional agriculture is an antibiotic agriculture. Soluble fertilizer deplete the soil and create a, a disequilibrium inside the, the plant. And the deficiencies normally they create perfect substrate for pathogens and insects that will attack the plant. A healthy plant is a plant that has got all the minerals, all the nutrients that needs, and the microbiological activity that the plant needs in the soil and on the leaves of the plant. Regenerative agriculture is a probiotic uh, agriculture. It means that we have to try to increase the number of beneficial uh, microorganisms in order to have a strong immune system of our agroecosystem. Compost is the perfect, fastest and the simplest choice that will allow to regrow and reproduce the beneficial microbial community of our soil. So these are probiotic biofertilizers where the mineral are cooked, are made available and soluble by microorganisms for the health of the plants. The liquid fertilizer is diluted into irrigation water and given back to the plants via drip lines or sprinklers. Uh, this is the recipe that I'm experimenting with and basically is uh, a reproduction of uh, local uh, microorganisms. The sugar on which they reproduce is from the sap of the trees, which is extracted from wood and then fermented naturally. What is in here is microorganisms that know this landscape, know this climate and they decodify the non-living world in order to create the optimal condition from the living world to thrive and to produce in symbiosis. abbonati che ricevono la cassettina una volta a settimana. Abbiamo due giorni di consegna e sono il martedì e il sabato e componiamo le cassette con prodotti di fresco raccolti. Ogni volta che compongo una cassetta penso cavoli ma fai. Uh, 
geese are, are an extremely undervalued animal, uh, which is basically a grazer, is a, is a bird that can live on grass. And together with rabbits and together with all the other herbivores, they should be animals which uh, we should start to, to have in our farms and in our diet, because they are the most efficient transformers of sun energy into produce and uh, ecosystem services. They prune the pasture and uh, the pasture reacts extremely positively by growing more tillers, by exploring with the roots, producing sugars, activating the microbiology, increasing the carbon that goes in the soil. Of course, you need to rotate them on the pasture, maybe together with, uh, with the other animals, but they don't need anything else uh, apart from high quality grass. <laughs> <laughs> this is an experimental agroforestry orchard. Uh, basically what we are trying to do again, to use the space very efficiently, horizontally and vertically. We are growing different crops that will cover different stratas, vertically speaking. So it's not finished yet, but here we already have a few elements. Uh, we start from the lowest level. Uh, on fr in front of it this year we will be planting horseradish, rhubarb, comfrey, all herbaceous. On the lowest part they will create this erosion control and, and sort of a natural terrace. And then we have the bush layer, as it would be in a forest. Here in this case, we have gooseberries or currants or aronia berries or many others. They will grow completely, making this beautiful bush full of very fine roots, which are the precursor of the forest. Uh, fruit trees love those roots. And then we have the, the fruit tree layer, which is a, a mid layer. Of course, they are the main production of the agroforestry system. We have a biomass and protection from hail and, and storms and as well uh, excess heat, uh, in this case, Paulonia's trees. Geneticamente tu ti puoi cambiare, o comunque l'espressione della tua genetica la puoi cambiare attraverso tre cose. La respirazione, l'esperienza e quello che mangi. Qua wow, ci sono tutti e tre. <laughs>